Hi guys, welcome to my review of what I think is the best self-cleaning litter box out there. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss the problems I had, including how long it took my cat to get used to the litter box, some of the issues I ran into, the cost of buying one of these, the cost of owning one of these over time, which means, you know, buying the refills of the litter. There's definitely a, a price difference, but hopefully by the end of the video, I will convince you that uh, it might be worth it because I personally decided to research automatic self-cleaning litter boxes because just like you, I was just tired of cleaning the nasty litter every you know other day. Uh, some people do it every day, depending on your cat's bathroom habits, but it, it was just nasty. You know, I was just sick and tired of it. So I went on Amazon, did a bunch of research, and what I found out is there is no perfect, you know, litter box out there. A lot of people have issues. Um, I think some of it is user error, just like, you know, reviews on any product these days. I mean, there, there's, you know, maybe there's some people that they're not the sharpest tool in the shed, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to discuss the little box I purchased despite, you know, not the best ratings on Amazon and other places. Uh, but there was a reason I chose this one. Um, basically, I kind of thought that a lot of the negative reviews were based on people that for some reason had a bad product or maybe they weren't very bright. So anyways, let's get on with it. Okay, guys, the first thing we're going to talk about is the cost. I think that's the most important. And, you know, YouTube will tell me to put this at the end of the video to make you guys suffer and wait. But I do have some interesting stuff throughout the entire video, especially if you're really considering one of these litter boxes. So, as you can see here, I have a little spreadsheet. Um, I tracked the usage for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months. Okay? So... I have a pretty good idea of how long these refills last. Now, one comes with the box, one comes with the litter box when you buy it, but then obviously you have to buy more. Um, uh, one time I picked up a three pack at a local pet store and they had a deal on it. It was, it was a pretty good deal. So you can look for those, uh, but honestly, to make it easier for myself, I just subscribed to buying a three pack on Amazon and I'll put a link below. So how much does it cost and how long does it last? Well, as you can see in the spreadsheet, um, it lasts for about 15 days and I have a normal cat. He's not too skinny, not too fat. He's a Russian blue. I actually don't know his weight. I would say maybe 10 pounds, 12 pounds. I have no idea. Um, so it really, I mean, it lasts like half a month. So it doesn't seem like a lot, right? And I mean, frankly, it, it's pretty much you're going to be paying like double the cost for your litter. But wait, don't, don't go away yet because you're like, oh my God, I'm going to pay double the litter. Keep in mind, you're not going to be changing your litter for about 16 days. You're not going to touch it. Now, there are some instances where you do have to do something. Every once in a while, Lucky, my cat, he makes a pile, like too big of a pile towards the wall. What that does is it blocks the sensor so the rake will not go through. That, that's pretty annoying. I wish they had a better system. So what I do is I, I actually do this with my foot. I shove the box to the left and then to the right real quick, which flattens out the litter and then everything's fine. So I do have to do that once in a while. Sometimes Lucky goes weeks without, without messing up and sometimes he does it, you know, every week he'll mess up. So that is one issue. Um, I did see some videos where there was some poop on the wrong side of the rake. Now, at first, the people who posted that video, I thought they did it on purpose. Um, but that happened once. Basically, if your cat makes that pile on the side of the wall and the rake does, like the rake goes halfway, let's say, and then he goes in there and poops on the other side of the rake, that's the only way you will get the poop on the wrong side of the rake where it won't be scooped into the, you know, 
to the area that's covered. Now, another thing is, I was a little worried about the smell of the poop getting covered up in that little cardboard compartment. I love this little But rest assured, you know, once it gets covered up, it, um, you don't smell it. It's actually the least the smelling one. cat litter out there. Um, the reason some people probably go longer than 15 oh. days. I think they yeah. even say this thing could last a month. That's just to me. That's just crazy because right. after 15 after days, days, it's the urine. You know, yeah, maybe yeah. my cat drinks a lot, but it's oh, the okay. urine the and the ammonia in the l urine and I don't know uh, that that makes the litter bad. smell. Okay, it's not the feces, it's, it's just the urine in there. And when you're looking at these crystals, they actually do look very nice. I love the colors that, you know, the nice blue and the light blue and the like bluish type of thing going on there. Well, as your cat uses it, the crystals do soak up the, the urine and eventually the crystals get greener and greener. And when it gets, when the litter gets really green, um that's usually when it starts to stink pretty bad and that's when you have to change it the good news is when you change your litter box this is probably the easiest way to change a litter box i mean they get a they get five out of five on this one you simply take out the new litter tray you take off the top cover you you slip it on top of the litter tray okay and you're done you, like what i usually do is i put a garbage bag once you know, once I close the box, I put a garbage bag over that, I cinch it, and then I take it to my dumpster, and I'm done. And I just pop in a new litter tray, set it up, clear everything, and I'm done. Now, every three weeks or so, what I do is I take some Kaboom or some Greenworks, and I wipe down the entire litter box inside and out. Um, because there is, there will be some fine dust eventually that gets collected and maybe your cat puts a little bit of uh, product on the side of the wall right there so you got to clean that but overall you're not going to get a better litter box experience in my opinion i mean this is the best thing i could think of and it is double the cost but you know the way i look at this i look at this as as if i had a helper changing the litter box for me because I used to have to change it every other day with my cat. Now, some people change their litter box every day, sometimes multiple times a day. And if you have multiple cats, you know, this might not be the best idea for you. It might get too expensive. But for me, since my time is really valuable, just like your time, but now I'm running three businesses. And I just started day trading uh, at the beginning of this year. And I'm hoping to have some day trading videos for you guys coming up. I mean, you know now i have even less time so this thing is literally a godsend for me it is more expensive and i do get annoyed when lucky pushes the litter towards you know like piles it up because with this little box the sensor doesn't like that when it's piled up in one area so you could train your cat to not do that or you know better yet you could train your cat to use the toilet <laughs> if you have the time and patience for that but anyways let's look at the spreadsheet so the cost of a three pack is about $43. Uh, you will need uh, you will need about eight three packs a year. So, you know, that comes out to about $330 a year in litter costs. Um, so, it's, you know, you're probably paying right now half that if, you, if you're using clay litter. I mean, I never did the math on clay litter. We just bought that big like 40 pound bag of scoop away or fresh scoop that purple bag that you get at um uh, costco or whatever um so that wasn't expensive but i hated it i hated cleaning the litter box and you know it was just a mess smelly everything i hated everything about it so so anyways if you're really thinking about one um you know i pulled the trigger it is expensive your initial cost is expensive and maintaining it is expensive okay it's, it's twice the cost for maintenance but i will bet your quality of life gets better especially if you're the one in charge of changing the litter now in my house it's me and so yeah i mean i love this thing if this thing broke i'll buy another one i mean that's that's where i am at with this product um 
Now, let me talk about the cat getting used to the litter box. Uh, that was interesting. So, in the beginning, um, the, the litter sounds different than normal litter. So, the cats are like, they're probably going to get freaked out by the way it sounds. It sounds kind of weird, yeah. very crunchy. Because uh, it's, it's crystal litter. So, you know, in the beginning, he didn't go to the bathroom for like, I can't remember, I, th I want to say like a day, and I kept putting him in there. I, I took the hood off. I didn't have the hood on for the first couple days, I think. Once he got used to it, I put the hood back on. And, you know, and then for the first like three months or so, every time the rake turns on, he'll run over to the spare bedroom and look at it, you know. So... What can I say? I like the product. I have a link in the description below. If you hate changing your cast litter, I mean, <laughs> you, think we should just you can't go wrong. Thing. You literally cannot go wrong with this thing. But, you know, every cat has its own diet and that all plays a factor. You know, if your cat has, for instance, diarrhea every day or every other day or whatever, that might change, you know, how often you have to change the litter. So my cat is healthy and, you know, like I said, he's a ru typical Russian blue. You can look up the specs. I do not know it offhand, yeah, it walk away. but it, it worked out really well for him and really well for me. I don't mind the cost difference because um, it, it really helps me out. You know, I hated changing the litter box and this thing, you know, it's pretty awesome. So anyways, guys, I've been playing this video for so long, but... I literally just started my third business and I'm investing so much time into this business. I didn't have time to do this earlier because I knew it would take some time to put my thoughts together and get all the video clips and, you know, the, you know, do the spreadsheet and everything. So anyways, um, thank you for watching. Sub my channel. I will have awesome content as usual. If you look through my videos, you know, I, I do pretty good how-to videos. I try to really help people out. I know there's some how-to videos out there where, you know, all the people are thinking about is views and not really helping people. So uh, maybe I'm going to try starting a Patreon camp uh, campaign one day because it will help. it would help motivate me to make more of these videos because, like I said, I have three businesses now. It's getting a little crazy. But I love you guys. I love all the subscribers to this channel. I love everyone who clicks like on my videos. And God bless you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.